years ago, humanity almost got annihilated by magical armored insects called devil beetles. These devil beetles drove humanity off of the lands and now they are forced to live on floating cities. However, the wizards from Sky Wizard Academy fight them off. Kanata who was once called the strongest swordsman is now labeled as a traitor. Kanata is given a chance to regain his lost respect by to instructing a team of misfits girls. Insects with magical powers called devil beetles rise up to fly from earth to the sky. Kanata age. Yuri Floster, Chloe Sebigny and Lloyd Alwyn fight a large number of Archinar's insects. Kanata saves Yuri from an Archinar's attack. Chloe throws a long-range attack but more and more devil beetles arrive as reinforcements. Kanata asks everyone to retreat and decides to fight them alone and he finds a huge Archinar appearing before him. Six months later, in the Mist Gun City floating in the sky, Kanata is referred to as a traitor now. Chloe briefs, Freon Flamel, who is the Sky Wizards Academy's head, about the fired Emi 601. Rico Flamel is a delusional narcissist. Lekti Eisenach is an introverted, but enthusiastic girl. And Misora Widale, the leader of Team E601, who has a total of 124 losses. Freon asks Chloe to find an instructor for the useless girls. Kanata who works in the warehouse now learns that he is summoned by Freon to her office. On his way to Freon's offices, Kanata stumbles into a red-haired loudmouth girl with bread in her mouth. They both trip. Her bread and jam sticks to Kanata's pants. The girl blames Kanata for that and calls him a pervert, but Kanata disappears from the scene. While washing his pants, he finds a girl looking at herself obsessing about her beauty in the mirror. She notices Kanata without his pants and thinks that it is the result of her beauty. Kanata vanishes from there as well, as she shouts at him as a pervert. In a hurry he enters the girl's bathroom. Lekti catches him coming out of the bathroom. In tears, she tells Kanata that it is the girl's bathroom and asks him if he is a pervert. Kanata runs from there saying out loud that, I'm not a pervert. Kanata runs into Yuri Floster in the stairway who calls him a traitor in a sarcastic way and gets angry at him. Chloe finds them and tries to calm Yuri down. Kanata then tells Chloe that Yuri is hurt because of the past event six months ago. Later Kanata visits Freon's office along with Chloe and is asked to be an instructor for the misfit girls of the fired Emi 601. Freon asks Kanata to turn the girls into useful wizards so they can help fight the devil beetle Archinars. As Kanata walks through the hallway, the students call him a traitor. On the other hand, the three girls of Fired Emi 601 talk about their encounter with a pervert. As Kanata enters the room, he finds out that these are all the three girls he had encountered in the morning. The girls call him a traitor and then a pervert while putting their weapons to his face. Nisora complains that a pervert can't be their instructor. Kanata then surprises them by telling them everything he knows about them. Misora and Rico tell the clueless Lekti about why Kanata is called a traitor. They explain to her that Kanata skipped a very important match as a result his team wasn't promoted to an easily guaranteed S rank, and that he used to be called Black Sword Master Kronos. He then explains to them that they can get stronger as him or even more if they train with him. Misora agrees to the proposal, but Rico refuses by saying that as a divine being, she doesn't need to train. He then suggests to Rico that she can demonstrate her superiority in a training practice match, which she agrees upon. Kanata and Fired Emi 601 fly high to the sky for a practice match. The girls get irritated to see that Kanata is not even using fly magic to face them. Kanata asks them that they can use their weapons to bring him down and if they can bring him down, the training exercise would be over. Kanata flies away while saying the rules to them. Misora starts chasing Kanata alone, leaving the other two behind. Kanata notices at once that there is zero teamwork. He finds Misora's speed and stamina are impressive. Misora draws her weapon from her ring and tries to hit Kanata with it. Kanata escapes into the clouds. As he holds Misora into his target, he finds Lekti behind him with her twin swords Amano Habakiri. Kanata finds that Lekti's moves are strong but she gets nervous in front of the enemy. Meanwhile Riko takes Kanata into her target range with the help of her magic gun Athena. Kanata easily dodges the attack but finds Lekti in the target range and saves her by blocking the attack precisely with his small blade. Kanata acknowledges Riko's aim but says that it is too accurate and hence easy to dodge. Meanwhile Misora keeps searching for Kanata cluelessly and doesn't find him. Kanata tells the girls that it is the day for their individual training regiments. As usual Riko refuses to train. Misora tries to stop her but Kanata asks to let her go and focus on her individual training. Kanata asks Lekti to wear a maid costume and to hand out the flyers to the students. Lekti gains some confidence as three boys take a flyer from her. On the other hand, Kanata assigns a mission to Misora to find a weakness of Riko. Misora tails Riko but is caught right away by Riko. As Chloe flies like a ghost to Kanata's room, 
She finds Kanata looking at Misora's statistics. He tells her that she has magic power reserves higher than the A-rank wizards. Kanata instructs Misora to change her weapon so that she can give better performance, but she refuses to do so. She runs away crying and complaining that Kanata doesn't know a single thing about her. A flashback from the past shows Misora's mother fighting the devil beetles and defeating all of them including a huge monster beetle quite easily. Misora stands at the grave of her mother, gets angry at Kanata and says I refuse to give up my sword. On the other hand, Riko notices that Kanata has actually affected Lekti and gained her respect. Kanata visits a cafe owned by Misora's family. Kanata finds out that Misora's mother Sosi has passed away and his husband Gale doesn't have any memories of her because she was an elite sky wizard. Kanata asks Misora's father Gale why she is obsessed with magic cannon sword. Gale explains that the sword belonged to Misora's mother and she is trying to keep her legacy alive as a way of not to forget her. Another flashback shows young Misora and Gale spending time with Sosi as she returns from her mission. Sosi, although one of the strongest sky wizards, is clumsy at her household. One day Sosi goes on a mission but never returns. Misora asks Gale about her mother but he surprisingly says that he doesn't remember if he had a wife. Misora asks the city's people but they react the same way. At last she learns from two sky wizards that Sosi has sacrificed herself for the city during a mission. Misora trains very hard holding her mother's sword. Later Kanata finds Misora at her mother's grave and asks her to swear to her mother's grave that she'll leave the magic cannon sword. Kanata explains to Misora that her mother never thought about the sword. Rather her real aim was to save the city. When Kanata sees that Misora is never going to back down from the sword, he then decides to help her. While training Misora thanks Kanata. Riko who watches Misora's new attitude towards Kanata finds it very interesting. Kanata informs Lloyd about the fire team E571, the next opponent for E601. Yuri barges in by telling Kanata not to lie to her team to fill them with false hopes in a sarcastic manner. After Yuri and Lloyd leave, Riko arrives at Kanata's table. She brags about her beauty as usual and Kanata laughs at her. Then Kanata tells Riko about their next rank match opponents but Riko leaves saying that she doesn't have any desire to train like mortals. Worried for their next match, Misora and Lekti try to convince Riko to train with Kanata, but she refuses at once. Misora then pleads to Riko sitting on her knees, which worries Riko. Kanata joins them and says that Riko is right for not going to a match they are sure to lose but on the other hand abandoning their friends on a match is lame. Kanata then tells Misora that he's gonna give her the key to victory. Riko watches the same dream over and over again about chasing after her big sister Freon. Kanata shows Misora his sword Gladius and fires a strike blaster at clouds making them disappear. He says that this powerful attack from the magic cannon sword is the key to their victory. She manages to fire the strike blaster but it drains her energy. Kanata adds three strike blaster attacks every day to her training. Meanwhile Riko watches everything from a distance and acknowledges the new attack. After watching Lekti's improvements she questions if she could match her sister with the help of Kanata's training. Kanata suddenly vanishes from Riko's vision and she finds him behind her. Kanata then tells her that she has the highest ranking detection type skill clairvoyance ability. Riko points out a flaw in Kanata's plan but Kanata says that she is to fill in the flaw. Kanata finally manages to get on Riko's good side and gets an opportunity to tick her brain into thinking about improving. She then decides to join the training. Fired Emi 601 and E571 come face to face and suddenly an alarm alerts them about the devil beetles approaching the Misgun City. Freon orders to send all E rank teams to help with evacuations and a rank wizards to the sky. Kanata's team successfully evacuates the citizens. Riko questions Kanata why he is not helping at front lines when Lekti shows up with a little girl who was separated from her mother. Chloe takes the whole squad of devil beetles with one shot. Yuri praises her and tells her that she is not gonna use her spear anymore. Meanwhile Lyad comes with the news that a new squad of devil beetles has broken through the city defenses. As the devil beetles enter the city, Freon orders to send every single wizard to save the city. Misora tries to aim an attack on a devil beetle but misses. She gets a beetle with another shot. In the third shot, she takes out all the devil beetles with a strike blaster, destroying the street along with her dad's cafe. A chimera, the leader of Devil Beetles appears. Freon suggests killing Chimera and every other beetle will fall back. Fired Emi 571 kills the Chimera but Devil Beetles don't stop. Kanata tells his team that there is another Chimera. Riko finds the other Chimera using her clairvoyance. Yuri feels overwhelmed by the number of Devil Beetles and wishes to get inside the city to save it. Chloe and Lloyd tell her not to worry as they can rely on Kanata in the city. Kanata asks Fired Emi 601 to destroy the Chimera but they don't feel confident in doing so. 
He then encourages them and manages to get them to agree with him. As the fired Emi 601 starts the fight, Kanata orders Lekti to distract the Archinars which she performs well. Riko uses long-range attacks to cover for Misora. Misora then gets into the firing range and destroys all beetles with her strike blaster attack. But more and more beetles keep coming. Misora fires a third strike blaster and finishes off every single beetle. Suddenly a green laser beam is fired at Misora which Kanata blocks while taking the hit. A new and more powerful Chimera shows up destroying the city. Kanata decides to take on the new Chimera as Black Aura comes rushing out of his body. With his stunning speed and power, he manages to injure Chimera. Kanata then kills the big Chimera with his powerful Dark Strike Blaster. Kanata falls from exhaustion. Yuri watches all the beetles stepping back and Lloyd tells her that Kanata has taken care of them. As Real runs in order to save Yuri he notices the fallen eye of Chimera. The three girls find Kanata thinking that he is dead but he wakes up saying their sky is clear. Later Kanata shows up at the stadium with his broken arm. Yuri happens to be there and asks Kanata about his arm. Eventually Fire Emi 601 seconds match arrives and Kanata says that his team is going to outrank the whole academy. The next moment, they see Fire Emi 601 lose terribly. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.